Hi, I'm Almandias. This is the first episode of a regular series I plan to do in the long run. So you may be asking, what is a menagerie? A menagerie was a place where the aristocrats, nobles and kings held collections of wild and exotic animals. They were in a sense, the precursors to the modern zoological gardens. I picked this name because in a way I will guide you in a visit to one of these fabled places. I've decided to start with probably one of my favorite animals, the snow leopard, or by his scientific name, Panthera uncia. The snow leopard is also called ounce. It's a species of large cat that inhabits a vast area of inner Asia, living in the highest mountain ranges in the world. It's one of the rarest cats in the world, living up at elevations of 3,000 to 4,500 meters above sea level. Its body is stocky, with short and powerful legs. Its ears are small to reduce the loss of heat, and its nose has large nasal openings which allow an increased volume of air to be inhaled with each breath. It also warms the air it breathes. Its body covering is made of thick hair in shades of grey or creamy yellow and covered with greyish black spots. Its long tail is thick due to it being a fat storage. It's used for balancing the unstable mountain ranges that make up its habitat. And it also a blanket which the cat uses to cover its face when sleeping to protect itself from the mountain winds. Its short legs have broad paws covered in fur. They distribute its body weight in the snow and increase its grip on rocky surfaces. They also keep its movement silent, which is useful when it's stalking prey. This cat is rarely seen in the wild, often coming out of their lairs to hunt. They prey on many mountain animals that include the many species of mountain goat that live in the Himalayas like the Baral, the Tar, the Argali, and the Marjor. It also hunts marmots, voles, and picas. Its usual style of hunting relies on ambushing its prey from above. They kill with one bite to the neck, and after the animal is dead, they proceed to move the carcass to a safe location to feed. They can eat all edible parts of a carcass and can survive on a single kill for two weeks. A single mountain goat. An adult snow leopard will require annually to prey on almost 30 mountain goats. In terms of his social life, they mate on late winter with the males pairing with one female. The couple will then mate 12 or 36 times a day and the male won't find another mate as the fertile period of the female is only 8 days. With the environment they live in and their small population density, it is not possible to find another mate in such a short period of time. The female gestation period is from 88 to 100 days and the cubs are born around April and June. The litter can go from one to five, with most being just two. Their cubs are blind and defenseless at birth. Their eyes open around seven days and can walk in seven weeks. They are fully weaned at 10 weeks. The cubs leave the den when they are around two or to four months old, but remain with their mothers until they become independent after around 18 to 22 months. Once they can fend for themselves, they traverse long distances to look for their own hunting areas. This likely reduces the chances of inbreeding, which are common in animals that live in isolated environments. Its life expectancy is 15 to 18 years in the wild and 25 in captivity. They reach sexual maturity when they are 3 years old. Humans and Leopards Snow leopards have a symbolic meaning for the many peoples of Central and South Asia. It's on the seal of cities such as Samarkanda and Nur Sultan, and in money too, like in the bills of Kazakhstan. It's the national animal of Afghanistan and Pakistan, as well as being on the coat of arms of the Republic of Tatarstan. The biggest threat to its survival is poaching and illegal hunting, mostly in China where its pelt and body parts are commercialized. Another factor is the loss of prey, due to the use of land for livestock. Although it has been registered to attack domestic sheep, it's not part of their usual diet and rarely will get close to humans. In fact, there are no recorded attacks on people and it's the least aggressive of all big cats when it comes to human presence. It's easily driven away by herders since they readily leave their kills when frightened. Thankfully, the conservation efforts have proven most successful in keeping their numbers. In 2003, the population was estimated from 4,000 to 6,000 individuals. In 2016, the population numbered 8,000. Snow leopards have successfully bred in captivity, with almost 600 being in zoos around the world. And that's the snow leopard. 
an enigmatic feline, one that shies away from the contact of humans, living in the highest places far beyond our reach. Where the cold mountain wind blows, this place they call home, the place where the land meets the sky, and where the leopard, silently and hidden, survives. Thanks for watching. I hope you like this new series I plan on starting. If you want me to cover an animal, extinct or alive, write me a comment or tweet at me. Hope you like it and have a nice day.